Of all the great classics that have been made into motion pictures, no one has ever dared to film the story of Eskimo Nell until now. The Mexican Pete, he jumped to his feet to avenge his pole's affront. His long-nosed colt with a jarring jolt, he drove right up a... Inspired by the bawdiest ballad ever written, we bring you the hilarious tale of the making of this great classic. Now, the key part, of course, is Nell. And we want someone really sensational for this part. Someone who can really pull the crowds in, like Jane Fonda, Racco Welch, Liza Minnelli, Gladys Armitage. Gladys Armitage. Gladys! Now, she's a real puller at the box office, and she's got big tits. I'm Gladys. Gladys Armitage. Tell him what I'm like in bed. Oh, he's ever so good in bed. Roy Kinnear as the fast-talking film producer, frantically trying to keep his backers happy. I don't want any bullshit. What I need is 90 minutes of good, solid, hardcore pornography. <laughs> But life gets complicated when everyone wants to play what? Naughty Nell. <laughs> I have, at the moment, this girl. Oh, yeah. Who I consider to have the most tremendous talent. Charming girl. Utterly charming. Totally charming, sir, totally. With the most exceptional charisma I have ever seen. Big, is it? <laughs> It's laughs galore when the order goes out to make the most outrageous film of all time. The first shot of the film is a big close-up of a bleeding great pair of tits. That's just what the public needs, you know, something nice and wholesome. I can't do it, Betty, I just can't do it. I am not capable of writing the first all-British pornographic kung fu musical western. We guarantee a laugh a minute in the zaniest film you've ever seen. Be sure you don't miss Eskimo Nell. Anything can happen when the most famous bawdy story in the world is made into a film. <laughs> I saw it 11 times. In my mind, it was filthy.